Geek. Geek. It is March, what is it, 8th, 2017. And uh, we started on Wednesday instead of Monday because there wasn't much news. Guess what? There's still not much news. Uh, (laughs) I'm Rob Southgate. With me is... Chris Mao. And... (laughs) Scott Sammons. And... Nobody crickets. Crickets again. Hi, guys. It's Cricket from uh, American Horror Stories with us. Hi. (laughs) I totally wanted to post that when you posted. uh, What did you post today? Who knows? Uh, One of your memes was great. I was going to throw a cricket up there. Oh, was it the uh, All Are Welcome one? Yeah, the All Are Welcome. (laughs) Uh, That's actually where I have to post this. So uh, here, I'm going to do it right now. I just couldn't pull up a cricket on my phone that I could share. So. We'll see if we get any takers on joining us from our uh, from our illustrious network. Uh, yeah, who knows? Phil from joined the, us last time. From the Playtone Galaxy of Stars? Yes, right. <laughs> it was funny having Phil on last time. It was. So how are you guys doing this week? Good. Yeah? Yeah? Nothing, okay. nothing new? Nothing exciting? No. No. It's slow at work. <laughs> yeah. Well, I wouldn't know about that. No. I'm working this week. I wouldn't know about that. What do you mean you're working? Well, I work at... at oh, at, you're doing, yeah. How's yeah, it I've, been, right? I've been directing all week. Yeah, man. Uh, so we're doing... Uh, it's a it's a youth theater, and we're doing three <coughs> books, basically, adapted. Uh, Where the Wild Things Are. I'm directing Hugo, which is my favorite thing in the world. And we're doing Mrs. Frisbee and the Rats at Nim. Ooh, nice. Which, Ooh. all three, excellent... Uh, I, I when we did the the tech run yesterday, mm-hmm. you know, usually when you do that kind of thing, I don't know if you've like if you did acting in high school or anything, but the tech runs usually like you crash and burn, and <laughs> typically the one just before the performance, you crash and burn in a way that is the only thing I can equate to it is like you're in the Titanic and there's two icebergs and <laughs> one of them is on fire and calls out your mom's name because it's going to go ram into her too. I mean, it's like the worst thing. Yeah. Yeah. Why'd you say that name? (laughs) And with, with this, it was the opposite. We, I was, I was shocked. You're screwed. No, 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 no. no, no, no. It's going to be bad. So no, we had a tech Monday. It was rough. We had the tech yesterday and oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited because I I, in, in my section in Hugo, I did stuff we've never done before where I had video elements. I, I actually got George Malay film and I, I had it showing behind him during certain scenes. I put like uh, old timey music in it and stuff. So it's like way more than, Hey, here's some kids in their base costumes and they're going to do this fun story. Right. This is like production. So and I'm, I'm not the only one. All, all three of them are really, really cool. So you can say you can do some tech stuff. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I can believe it or not. Okay. Believe it or not. That's good. How the space work out. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, it worked out yeah, great. Good. So, uh, so that was my news this week. Let's let's get a little bit of news. There's really not much. I went through a little bit. I went through and I, I made my notes, and it's like that. Usually, it's like two, three, four right. of these, uh, and these are really giant writing. Usually, it's not giant writing. It tells you how bad it is. So, uh, I want to go into one right away, or should we wait on this one? Because a little is going to want to wait talk for about a little if we can. So, I mean. What, okay. is, what is the general topic? Well, I don't want to say because he's going to want to talk about it. Um, I'm going to go with this one. First first thing, uh, did you guys watch any trailers this week? Yes. Did you did. watch the one for Rough Night? Yeah. Scott, did. did you watch it? I didn't see that, no. Good. You're, you're better than the two of us. That's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, God. I thought it was really cool. Well, no, I think it's funny, but is it anything different than what we've seen? No, it's Hangover. Or what, do you remember there was a movie where they went to Vegas and they killed the hooker accidentally? Do you remember <laughs> that one? Exactly. It uh, was. It's bad that. decisions, bad something like that. Do you remember that one? It's <laughs> they, Like the guys that are having a bachelor party in Vegas. I think uh, Jeremy Piven might have been in it. Yes, it and, is. It's something like that, yes. Yeah, and they, the hooker gets her head hit on the that spike and or the thing in the bathroom and right. dies. That's what this reminded me of, but this is bridesmaids. This is any of those that, kind of yeah. money, but you know what? It's a, got a good cast. It's got that Kate McKinnon. Yeah. But uh, you know what? I didn't think she looked that good. She's playing it. She's doing the, she's playing some Australian. Yeah, or something. Australian I mean, but hey. you know what? Yeah, I, I, I'm okay with that. I thought, I mean, Scarlett Johansson's always good. The one from broad city, right. Looked really funny in it. And the, that the other one, the one that was in step brothers looks hysterical. So I don't know, man. I, I think it might be good. I hope it's good, but it just looked 
it that trailer, if that's the best they got, then we're in trouble. Hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I'm not saying it's going to be good. I said the trailer was enjoyable, but it's yeah. like that that Mike and Mickey need wedding dates. Like the trailer was funny enough, and then the movie's terrible. Right. So I mean, I, I'm not I'm not expecting a lot. Come on. When when they sell it as this is gonna be the female hangover, it, it just, you know, I mean, hangover was great because it was completely off the rails. That yeah. was nuts. Yeah, and this wasn't off the rails, but it is, by the, rails. it is by the people that wrote that write Broad City. Right. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that what we saw was what's easiest for them to sell. Right. I don't think that's actually what we're going to see because otherwise it's way too easy. Otherwise it's, it's, we've seen this before so many times. Right. And these are creative people. These are people that have done fun stuff. So I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that was, that was one of these like, Hey, here's what Hollywood can sell. And then we see it and we go, Oh yeah, this is actually funny. Yeah. I, I hope it could be good. I mean, if it's, if, if it's funny, then I'm all for it. But I just, I was nonplussed. Where when I saw The Hangover, the trailers for that, I you was were very plussed. Oh, yes, I was very plussed. I was very excited about that just because it looked, you know, they went from looking normal to being a complete disaster. Like, we lost Doug. You know, <laughs> we lost Doug. Where's Doug? I mean, <laughs> Doug's gone. Yeah, if they really wanted to do it right, they'd have a little jump out of the trunk. Hi, a little. Hey, Lil. Or Kenny <laughs> yeah. Jong. Yeah. Is that uh, a little Kenny uh, I don't know. I don't There's know if I can jump Ken Jong. A little, if they would have put the a little high high guys in there, I'd be in. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking about uh, Rough Nights trailer. Yeah, uh, I didn't see it. That's that's the new with all the the girls, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I, am I heard about. It. I haven't seen it. Yet. All right, before we get to the one that I want to talk about so badly, now that a little's here, the I, want trailers, about, or? I, I want to get another trailer out of the way, uh, and then whatever happens <laughs> happens. I watched the worst trailer. Did you guys see the trailer for, I got to find it on here, uh, Highway to Havasu? No. 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 Holy is crap, is this a flaming ball of crap. It's unbelievable. Winning an Oscar, guaranteed. Oh, it's <laughs> it's it's utter garbage. And you know what? I'm, I'm watching this, and I, I knew what I was getting into, but I'm like, okay, it's going to be like road trip, or it's one of these. It, it's like... It reminded me of like those like '80s ones, like uh, Fraternity Vacation, you know, something like that, where you're like, okay, they're terrible, but you can watch them and you can laugh and go, yeah, this is bad, but it's fun. Yeah, but there was a under- there was nothing fun in this. It was garbage. It was garbage. Although the guy who what directed was it, it was a guy named Jeff Janky, and I went to a high school with a guy named Jeff Janky, so I was like, I wonder if it's him. And then I saw him, and I'm like, uh, no, who's, this guy looks like he's a bachelor reject. Thing? What was the name of that again? Uh, H- Highway to Havasu. And if you go to IMDb, it's got like all this stuff, so it makes it look like it's a real movie. And you're like, this is there's nobody in it. It it the the jokes are awful. I mean, Alil's gonna show his kids, but you know. There probably isn't enough death in it for him to Why show. Why are you so quiet, Alil? I, I I'm just listening. Oh, you're, you're talking about things I don't know. So okay, super he, he gave up he listening. gave up stuff for Lent and he can't tell you what it is, but <laughs> I gave up anything Rob likes. Oh, well, you gave that up last year, didn't you? <laughs> it's been a while since you've uh, not been the hater on the show. So actually, I'm, the, I'm more of the hater on this show, aren't I? No. Yeah. No. I am. I am for sure. Uh, I'll go with Scott Sandwiches. <laughs> Scott, you're the new guy. You're, you're the hater. It was Edward. Yeah. It was always Edward. <laughs> Edward's the hater. Rated R Edward is the lover. <laughs> could I'm this the extreme. Be the I, I love or hate, so. What was that, Scott? I'm just reading the synopsis of this highway to Havasu and God, that looks terrible. It, it's it, when you watch the trailer. And the, the other thing is they, they put out the trailer this week, which is absolute garbage, but then they put out like a feature or like a, you know how they do those teasers that are supposed to be like, Oh, this is a great like minute of the movie. Oh yeah. my God. Oh, I could barely get through that minute. It's just, it's full of bad jokes and tools. I mean, it's just so, awful. It's an episode of the This Week in Geek. Is it's this week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's more boobs in this, though. Let me tell you. There you go. Yeah. But um, uh, all right, Alil, uh, and I'll be done introducing topics after this. I got one more that I know is going to set us all off to talk. Did you guys watch okay. the teaser for Deadpool two? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Well, for those of us that went to Logan, is yes. that where they showed it? That was my yeah. question. Did yeah. they show it there? Well, okay. I haven't been to Logan yet. Well, did you see what the marquee was behind the telephone? Yes. Booth? yes. Okay. Logan. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. What did you guys think of that che- that teaser? It was fine. Um, it got the tone. It got the tone the same as the first movie. So, I mean, as, as long as they can keep that up, 
Although I don't know how many pure Deadpool movies you can do without having to have him bounce off of somebody else. Well, they're not. I mean, Cable's going to be in the second one to bounce yeah. off of. He's going to be Domino's in... Domino's going to be in Domino. it. <clears throat> yeah, and he's also going to be in um, uh, the, well, other, the other mutant movie. Um, he's their new Wolverine. The, the other mutant movie. Uh, new Mutants uh, or X-Force. New Mutants, thank you. X- yeah, X-Force, be an X-Force. 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 But he's going to... He's their new Wolverine. He's going to be in all their stuff. He's going to be the connective tissue, which I don't know if that's the right choice. Even though I, I just watched Deadpool again recently, and it's so fantastic. Does, does that so hold fan- up on repeat viewings? Oh my gosh, yes. Oof. Yes, that's, it's that's a what lot I had fun. some concern about. You know, it, it's the the stuff that I was concerned about is yeah, there's it's kind of shocking, like the humor and everything. You're like, wow, this is unexpected. Maybe it won't hold up. Not true. Enjoyable <laughs> the second time, just like watching Civil War was enjoyable the second time. I'm like, this is really fun. Huh. I thought um, this teaser was great, and. I, I was really what? amused by the whole thing. The Zip It Stan Lee was fantastic. Hey, great outfit. <laughs> like, Zip It Stan Lee. Yeah. I bet a uh, little did that make you mad. Did you have to rage quit? No. <laughs> you love Stan Lee. I, I do, but you know. <sighs> oh, when you said it, it was Zip It Stan Lee. And I, and, I, and, I love, <laughs> and I love Deadpool and I love Ryan Reynolds. I just, I'm just worried. You like seeing his butt, I bet. I do. I, I, just, I just worry that the shtick will get old. I, you know what? I am too, but. To revisit it right there, it was pretty funny, and the fact that he put his head back on the dead guy. You yeah. know what though? Like, but that that wasn't funny. Like when the, he came back to the dead guy, like he just didn't see like his quips t- to me didn't land. They didn't work. They didn't. They didn't land. It, it worked for me, but you know what? I was harder on the first one, so maybe I'm just like ready for something a little different. But he is not the character to hang your head on, and I'm telling you, that's exactly what they're doing. Logan is done. It's now going to be Deadpool there and and this is the same guy who's doing this that's been talking about you know fantastic four and it's like you know what Uh, he's the it's the wrong this is the wrong choice love deadpool thought the movie was great i don't i i think this one looks this teaser was funny but boy (laughs) try to put that in logan that ruins it yeah it ruins the tone of logan it ruins the joke for deadpool and I think that's where we're going. <coughs> yes, I don't know if that's where we're going. I mean, he's he's in everything. They're even talking Dan, about him being in the next X Men film. Deadpool or Logan? Deadpool. So well, you have I mean, Deadpool too. You have him in X Force. They've already said that that if that it's very potential he'll be in New Mutants. And then there's talk that he might be in the next X Men film. I, I don't see Ryan Reynolds doing all that. I really don't. No, you you don't think that he likes money. <laughs> I, I do I think, think he likes money, but I also I also think he I also think he respects the character enough to not oversaturate him. I think yeah, but he could do like do it. You, Hugh Jackman just made those cameos. That's what they're going to do with him. He's not going to be like Deadpool and the X Men. Yeah, it's but you be... look at but look at the look at the time frame between those movies. Like a lot of these movies are filming now. They're starting already for New Mutants. They're starting already for right. and he's supposed uh, to be X-Men Supernova. They're not going to... No, he's going to be in X-Force. He's not going to be in New Mutants, and he's not going to be in X-Men Supernova. We talked about him being in New Mutants a while ago. He is he supposed be. to be in that. He won't I'm be. telling you, he's going to show up. Mark my words, he's not in there. I am not marking your words. Your video quality is awful, and your words cannot be marked because of that. <laughs> Probably because of my lighting. I've got sweet oh, lighting. You missed it. Here. It's bad. You're yeah, you're choppy. It's bad. your internet. Oh. Welcome to the old man bitching about internet show. <laughs> Back in my day, you yeah, well, 1200 baud. <laughs> oh, God. Meh. What are you going to do? Oh, Captain Janeway. Remember that Simpsons when he was downloading on CompuServe? Oh, these boobs are going someplace <laughs> where I've never been before. Mm. Yes. Er, yes. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. All right, I thought we'd get more out of that Deadpool thing. So, uh, boy, well, we're going to be mean, really treading was, water here. It, it's a teaser, and the problem is, is he's already got something established. So, it wasn't anything beyond the movie. It just was him being him. So, I, I like it. I think there's, I think it could be okay. Yeah, I'm just, I, I, I am still nervous about the Foxiverse. Uh, the FMU is that what it is? The FUMU, FMMU, Fox Marvel Movie Universe, right? Two out of three ain't bad. They're better than DC. How about just the FU? We'll go with that. Uh, The MFU. (laughs) Uh, 
you know what? I'm, I'm nervous about it because Logan, everyone says, is great. Haven't seen it yet. The last X Men movie, a lot of people said it wasn't so great. Two previous X Men movies, great. Mm-hmm. Wolverine Origins, garbage. Like their X Men three, garbage. Take all their films, you're at about 50 50. Plus, you've got that horrible, horrible Fantastic Four, which is part of that. Oh. So the, their track record's not it's, it's great. Not, it's not part of this, though. It's not part of their X Men universe. There's no oh, crossover. No, but it's supposed. To, it was supposed to. It was well, absolutely. Su- well, they didn't because it it was a giant flaming ball of dung. And it, I guarantee you, the next one, the next X Men, or the next Fantastic Four, the crossover would have happened. That was the whole intention. They're dying for that. They're dying to build an MCU, which is why they're trying to they're going to try and plug Deadpool in as much as they can, start building that up and Kinberg is back in, on his bandwagon saying Fantastic 4 are coming. They're not. They're not. Not for a while. 7 out of 10 X-Men movies I think were pretty good. So, I'm I'm giving you better than 50%. <laughs> You're not counting Fantastic X-Men, Four. I, I enjoyed. No, I'm not counting the Fantastic. The first two X Men are great. The, the seven uh, out of eleven. Then, if you want to count the X, the, the Fantastic Four, but I'm not going to. First two are great. Uh, uh, X Men uh, three, not great. Then uh, Origins, first class not is great. great. First, first class. class is great. Days of Future Past is great. I enjoyed the Wolverine. I the ending was was weak, Wait, but. I like the Wolverine. I'm not going to say it's great, but I like the Wolverine a lot. Exactly. So I'm going to give it a pass. Logan was great. There's five. Deadpool there's six. Was great. Okay. All right. Seven, Seven out of ten. Okay. Well, I was off on my math. I'm sorry. I had my shoe on. Normally, I can <laughs> do the math a little better. Um, yeah, we don't count. We don't count halves. That would be Three my quarters. hand. Right. I've, got, <laughs> I've got my toes. You want to see them? No. No. I'll we'll say that for the good. naked episode. <laughs> We're going to be doing one. That's going to be awesome. I, I don't know if anybody wants to see that as it's, a full episode. I mean, maybe happen. me, yes, but I don't know about you guys. I'm sorry. Oh, it, it's going to happen. Butter, so I'm, I'm <laughs> young and buttered. <laughs> when should we do it? Should we should we promote the fact that we're doing an all-nude episode? Mm, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just spring it on everybody. We get we'll our viewership so. numbers are really high, and then we'll just spring it Scott, on Scott, I don't, yeah, don't want to just crash anything on anyone. So. Crash the whole show. <laughs> Especially on YouTube. I don't want to be kicked off YouTube springing things on people. Yeah. <laughs> A little so new PewDiePie. <laughs> I'll take his 50 million followers. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, geez. And his anti Semitism. Uh, oh, yeah. He made a mistake. He made a mistake. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. He did. Wow. Yeah, he did, Mel Gibson. All right. What else do we have? Oh, Who's wow. got one? Wow. Holy Star cow. Trek. Star Trek. Yeah, that's great news. Go ahead, Scott. Uh, yeah, Star Trek has Jason Isaacs. Yes. Jason Isaacs will be Captain Lorca of the cap- of the Starship Discovery. <laughs> so we Will's going to be silent during this, but. I, I have, will be. Uh, I mean, I love Lucius Malfoy, but uh, I won't be watching this. N- not at all. No, no I don't. He I don't. A, not a trekker. All right. Not, not a trekker. No, <laughs> he's too busy watching Spider-Man cartoons. That seems to be all he ever talks about. Deadpool. Deadpool. <laughs> Spider-Man I, cartoons. I do love Spider-Man, and I do love Deadpool. So I'm not going to deny it. That's, that's right. my niche. So Scott, what do you think of him becoming the captain? Good choice. Uh, yeah, good choice. You know, somebody good and solid that can hold that because uh, Discovery is supposed to be focusing on uh, the actress uh, Sonequa Martin Green, who is Starfleet Lieutenant Commander Rainsford, who is a lute- who is the lead uh, character. So this is the first show where our lead character is not the commanding officer of the ship or station or whatever. Because uh, you know, even Cisco was only a commander, but he was still in charge of Deep Space Nine. So this will be our first show. It's taking that lower decks approach, sort of. Now, you know that Next Generation, originally, the concept was supposed to be it was about Wesley Crusher. That was originally that's what was supposed to happen. Roddenberry died and they went, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We're not we're not going to continue on that path. It's Picard. No, I think it might have been a good choice there. Yeah, no, it was supposed to be about Wesley Crusher. That was supposed to be the focus of that show. Were they were they bringing him back? I don't know that I've read that. So, well, I don't don't know that I've read that. (laughs) <laughs> oh, but yeah, um, yeah, and then there's a couple of it's interesting that we've got a couple different ships already because we have Michelle Yeoh, 
who is the captain of the Shinzhou, another starship. So uh, that that's interesting there. We've got a couple of different ships on this. And the other new addition is Mary Wiseman, I guess currently on a show called Baskets. And she will be Starfleet Academy Cadet Tilly, who is assigned to the Discovery. I really hope there's a clown in that one. <laughs> this is Zach Galpinakis. Or, yes. That's Zach Galpinakis, right? Yeah. yeah. He's the clown. <laughs> Yeah, I you know what? I think it's great casting. Once again, I'm not paying for it. I'm going to wait, and I hope it doesn't just tank and go away. I hope they give it a chance, but I hope that they realize people are not going to be subscribing to CBS Online. Uh, well, that was something else that came up, is that I, I was just reading that Starfleet, their CBS, their All Access, it's gained another half million viewers in the past several weeks. Really? So they've actually got more people signing up because they want to see the NCIS and I think it's The Good Wife or something, which I've never watched. And people are wanting this. And uh, they're getting subscribers. Uh, I, I'm still not going to pay for it. I'll watch Discovery, no. but I'm not going to I'm not going to pay for all access. I already have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and we buy stuff on iTunes. That, that's four services I already have. They're, right, right. And no now you're going to add another. Whatever. And and really, the only show I want is Star Trek. Right. Now, so, I mean, I, I'd buy them by the episode off iTunes if they'd allow that. But I'm not I'm not subscribing to another thing. They'll right. do something where you can buy it, um, but it's just going to be hard. You know, I'm sure they're going to jack the price up on it. So yeah, you're, you're not going to pay for Doug Jones, Rob. Doug's going to not. Pay for, he's going to take I'm away not. his hug from you. I, <laughs> I am not. Even though I will support him and tell people to do it, uh, I will not. Doug watching. Jones is an alien. All right. All right. That's a surprise. Yeah, I wonder a, if he'll yeah. be like his uh, character on Falling Skies, because he was great in that role. Hmm, I missed that one. You did? Falling Skies yeah. is a really good show. Yeah? That's yeah. the one with Noah Wiley, right? Yes. It was on TNT? It was on TNT, and, uh, you know, it, it, there are or points TV where it falls off the rails. No, it's TBS. TNT. TNT. TNT, isn't it? I think it's TNT. TBS. It was TBS. <laughs> and I did a podcast about it for the entire run, and I have no idea. Um, you know, nice. it, it, it was a good show. I really enjoyed it. And it was, uh, you know, the points where it falls off the rails, it doesn't fall off that hard, and it ended well. So it's a cool, cool show. TNT. We were right, the original, sorry. Was it TNT? TNT. Boom. I was right. Time to go to the highway to Havasu. <laughs> um, how about... Uh, this is this is one. Here's another one. Another video game getting made into movies. All right. Uh, did you guys know that they're doing Just Cause? No, no, did not. Does anybody know what Just Cause is? Nope. I've heard of it, but no. I haven't played it. Okay. Is it Bubble Bobble? For, yes, <laughs> it's Bubble Bobble. I want to uh, see Bubble Bobble the movie. You know what? It won't be long now. Trust me. Uh, no, actually, Just Cause is uh, is a I I've enjoyed Just Cause. I played it. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, and it's another one of these like an Uncharted where there is story. There is a, something that could be done with this, and it could be a lot of fun. But I don't have a lot of faith in these video game adaptations. I I feel like we're in that era where everybody's realized this is a new area that we could be working in to make some money and they're just not figuring out to put the money behind the script first. And I, I wonder about this because all they've announced about this, I didn't even know about this is that Jason Mimosa is going to be in it. It's like, Oh, maybe I did hear about it. So all we're doing is hearing about the star, but where was the development on this? Are they, have they even written it yet? Or is it one of these, like we're signing people up and we'll get, we'll pump out a script for you. Because I think that's what's been happening with all of these. Rights get get obtained, the thing gets pumped out, and a loose sketch of what the story from the game is, is utilized. So, you know, and Mimosa's the big guy right now. He's in everything. I I guess there's a guy named Brad Payton is directing. Okay. And there actually is a screenplay that was written by John Colley who did Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. So at least what? He's, done, so he's done something. So who knows? That's a great movie. Are you kidding? That's a real writer. Yeah. With, with Russell Crowe, that's a great movie. That was didn't you? Great. I thought it was a great movie. You didn't yeah, think it was, it was a great movie? I really enjoyed that one. It's not no. like exciting. Well, you like flashy things. Oh, well. Um, what? <laughs> I, I thought it was good, although I did fall asleep in it the first time watching it. You know what's funny? I fell asleep in that one. And 
I really enjoyed it. Great asleep. movie, yet you fall asleep. I See, wake up as who the needs ship, flashy things. I wake up at the end as the ship is you know sailing, and I'm like, oh, I missed like the last ten minutes. That was like the crucial part of the movie. Like I, I thought I knew everything that happened. They're like, no, there's like this whole thing that happens in the last ten minutes, and what you're seeing there is leading you into the next story. Though that is actually based on a series of books that is at the time it was the best selling book series of all time, even though like nobody that I knew had ever heard of it. Like, no, the master and commander series is from, from number of books sold. It was number one. He, even that writer had beaten Stephen King at that point. Pretty crazy. What? I'm That's serious. Crazy. I'm serious. I, I looked it up. I really liked the movie. I thought it was cool. And even if you don't love the movie, you got to admit the writing in it was really good dialogue, good script writing. Uh, maybe he'll pull this off. And was not Jason Isaacs in that movie? Was he? I think so. He oh. he has that ship captain look about him. Yeah, it was Russell Crowe, and it was uh, it was uh, Vision. Wasn't Vision in that? Paul Bet- Paul Bellamy. Bellamy. Yeah, Paul I think Bet- he was. He Bet-ney. was the, not, Bell- oh, no, not Bill, Bill Bellamy. Bellamy. Bill Bellamy. Yeah, he was the uh, Paul Bettany. He was the doctor. Not, not Bill Bellamy. I said <laughs> Bill Bellamy. Bill Bellamy's from uh, uh, Real TV World. VJ. Isn't he the one married to Mariah Carey? Isn't that Bill Bellamy? No. Oh, God. What? Who's that guy? He's on America's Got Talent. That's not Bill Bellamy? Nick Cannon. <laughs> yeah, Nick same Cannon. guy. Oh, yeah. He's a guy from Drumline. The I saw worst. That. Oh, who's Bill Bellamy? Guy. How do I even know who that is? Bill Bellamy's from Real World. Yeah. What? And, the first and he, Real World. And he VJ'd on MTV. Yeah. Was he, he, was made, actually, uh, he was actually in a great movie with Ryan Reynolds called Buying the Cow. That is good, actually. He's pretty funny. He was yeah. good. Bill Bellamy was pretty pretty talented. He was a writer for Spin Magazine or something before he did that. He did something, I hate to say substantial, but he was like a legitimate. Wow, Chris is kind of a Bill Bellamy uh, biographer. I didn't know any of this. <laughs> something like that. He was, I mean. And I thought he was that guy from America's Got Talent. <laughs> that's crazy. Ofer, that's it. <laughs> I did. Nick. <laughs> Nick Cannon. Drumline. Yeah, I know who that guy is. He's from Drumline. <laughs> That's he's the most underrated a, movie in America, Drumline. He was ma- married or they're divorced now? I don't know. Yeah, they're I divorced. Know, I, I don't follow any of that. Chris is the biographer of Mariah Carey also. So. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know who any of that is. No, yeah, it's I, not. So, I, I have nothing to say. What else do we have? Did you hear that Adam West is going to do a guest appearance on Powerless if they get that far? <laughs> if they get that far is exactly it. That show is terrible. Oh, my gosh. And of course, they're going to bring Adam West. They got to do something to get people to watch this thing. You know, comedy, DC, it makes sense. That's the only thing that makes sense. Have you guys watched it yet? No. No. I saw half an episode. I'm done. Yeah. I, <laughs> is that half too much? Do you want that is. 30 minutes back? <laughs> it was 15 minutes, but yes. 15? Yes. You know what? I think you may have beat me by five minutes. I couldn't take it. It was so bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. It just, it just was boring. no. But it was it was boring and it was not worth the time. You know, there's so much else you could watch, so many other good things, and that was just terrible. Absolutely, there's other things. So, is now have you guys been reading about Iron Fist? Do you think that these reviews are real, or do you think this is just I don't know? Because this is the first Netflix Marvel show that that like critics are saying not so good. They've only seen the first six episodes. Do you think it's they're not connecting with it, or do you think it's hype, or what do you think? Well, some of it, some of the comments were about the whitewashing issue. And that should be I, a, that should be how you judge the show. Well, I agree, but that's what some people are judging. Some of the negative reviews and comments were because of that, because they don't know the history of the character. They thought that the, that the Iron Fist should have been an Asian character. He's not Asian. <laughs> I, 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 right, I know that. you know that, but he's not Asian. That's I think it's a dumb argument if you don't have it, it's like uh I mean, yeah, there's whitewashing. I don't think there's whitewashing at least with that character. I mean, who knows when they get to what is it, Kulan, Kul, Kulat, something, whatever the village Kung is. Lao. Kung Lao. Um when they go to Kung Lao, guy. if it's all white guys, then No, it's it's, it's not though. I mean that's the thing. Bill Bellamy um, in it. Hopefully. <laughs> he he wouldn't make it better. Uh, no, I just think I, I always thought that Iron Fist would be the the weakest one of the series, just because like every one of them had something different holding it back. Like you know, with Daredevil, Daredevil is probably the most known of the characters. 
Yeah. And, you know, street level Batman type with, with no powers, you know, and then right. you get Jessica Jones and, and her story and, you know, was, was a lot about, um, you know, abuse. And <laughs> she and, was the and, one and, I and, thought, and, I thought would be the weakest only because nobody seemed to know who she was. Right. But then that's why they were able to play that, 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 that storyline up with it. And then giving, right. giving her such well, a, and plus a, they a act- great villain. In, yeah. in uh, David Tennant. Well, they acted the crap out of that too. That was yeah. it was fantastic, unbelievably well done. And then, Luke and then, Cage, and then I figured Luke Cage would be good. It it exceeded my expectations, hmm. right? And it and it did. You know, some of the people who complain about it about the last episode or two, like, yeah, I get it. It kind of did, you know, fall back a little bit um, from how amazing it was. I mean, I wish you know that the, they didn't even bring in Cottonmouth, and it was kind of all, um, you know, uh, I, I forgot the two characters. Uh, uh, I forgot. Whatever, um, but I think with this one is th- there's just nothing substantial holding it up. A lot of people are already comparing it to Arrow, um, just because yeah, you know the rich that. white guy, you know, you know, is gone and then comes back, and you know now <laughs> you fight. read the book <laughs> when you read like the the Power of Iron Fist or whatever that we reviewed two of them on uh, Enough Said. Uh, it is. It's the story. It's very similar to Arrow. It's definitely got a Batman vibe to it. But I actually enjoyed both Iron Fist series that I read, and I knew nothing about them. And I was like, yeah, I could really see this being made into a cool show. They're saying it's kind of jokey. They're saying it's not quite connecting. But I don't know. I mean, they haven't missed a step yet, in my opinion. I've really enjoyed all of it. Well, I mean, I think that's the problem. I mean, you've got three shows that were, or four, I mean, with two seasons of Daredevil, where people are, are, you know, giving them A ratings, Right, and if this one is a B minus or even a C, it's like the sky is falling. But yeah, you know, right. it, it's not because I think the the great thing about Iron Fist is when he teams up with Luke Cage and Heroes for Hire. That's what you're waiting for is Heroes for Hire, and, and and that's and that's something that we'll get to. And, and in the Defenders, the developed. Defenders could be a really cool show, and he's a great asset to that team. Um, I wonder if. Because a lot of people didn't love Daredevil season two as much as one. And I wonder where it falls there. Like, would you say it's better than Daredevil season two? Because if you do, this is going to be fine. That was a highly watchable show. Or is it like, no, 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 that's that's still an A and this is a C. Well, then then there might be some issues. But if it's based on the whitewashing thing, yeah, you you're 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 going for a cause that you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, again, is it the living up to the standard of what has happened, or is it bad just actually? Or are people getting a little sick of the <laughs> shtick? And I'm not saying it's a shtick. No, it could be. It you could know, be. It could be like, hey, we're gonna go through another kind of B or C character that may have potential. What does that pay off? So, right, well, right. And maybe that, maybe his you know for Moon Knight and these other guys that might be coming along. And which, no. which you know what, might have been stronger choices, too. They did this one because of Heroes for Hire and how that fits into the Defenders thing. That's why he's here. But right. if you wanted to go a stronger potential, I think like Moon Knight would have been a better choice. Uh, I think there are some other ones that would have worked a little better. Even like She-Hulk would have made a great miniseries on here. You know, it doesn't fit in there as well. But I think you have more potential to make a great piece of TV. Well, can they do it and not do an eight? part or 10 part season and do like yeah but they're trying to build a tv version of the avengers is what they're right but can they but could they do all these other characters in two or three shots and just get it over with and then bring them together so take a season instead of a season each take take a season and go 12 episodes and say hey we can develop four characters over three maybe they should have done the three and then done the defenders and brought danny rand in in the defenders and tell his story in there without giving him his own spinoff that might have been a cool way to go hmm I'm, I'm not worried about Iron Fist. I think it's going to be a good show. I mean, I'm not worried about it either. I just wonder what you guys thought. You know, I, you I, I think it'll be, you haven't I, said I anything have here. Watched, sorry, you, you miss it out, man. I, I it, apparently, yeah, we need to get on all these shows. You do now. Now, now Daredevil, we're around, though. Daredevil is so good. Oh my gosh, I'd say Daredevil and Jessica Jones were great. I mean, I thought. Uh, Luke I thought Cage Luke Cage was, was too. Yeah, I don't well, think I don't think Luke was as good as the other ones, but that's my opinion. Here, here's the thing, and here's here's where I think why Netflix and maybe why season two of, of Daredevil fell apart, uh, felt that fell apart, but fell short, and maybe why people are talking about Iron Fist like that is one of the big reasons why we love Daredevil season one was Wilson Fisk. Like, yeah. 
that story was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Jessica Jones, David Tennant was fantastic. Like, was, right. You got you know, it. Like, in the in villain. the movies, in in the movies, Marvel uses their villains just just and, and they even Feige even talked about it. Like he doesn't care. They don't care about the villains. It's about the heroes. You're only getting two hours, but when you're talking about an eight hour show that's developing, that's a little right. bit more grounded, you're able to develop these villains. And like you know, people say, I mean, Wilson Fisk is probably the best right now on screen. Maybe next to Loki, Marvel Cinematic Universe villain Agreed. that they've developed, and you know, I think that's where like season two for Daredevil fell apart there with the villain issues because you know nobody cared about the hand. You know, everything with the Punisher was fantastic, but he wasn't in every episode, right? And, um, and the Electra stuff was actually kind of wasted. That's a great story, and it was kind of muddied in there because right. the Punisher and, stuff was so strong. And like Luke Cage, everyone loved you know the first six episodes. And then when you actually got to like the main villain, people were just like kind of like uh, groaning about it, you know. Kind of, yeah, it wasn't the ended same. a little dumb. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think it hurt the whole show from from me, but it, I, I can see why people were upset about. It. So maybe that's the problem with with Danny Rand. There's not a good foil for him here, and it's just yeah. Not if you read enough. the book, his foils are pretty freaking weird, you know. <laughs> so. <laughs> Unless they were going to have like weird dragons and like all this magic stuff going on, you know, and they're unless, not, you know, yeah, unless they could pull it, off a Doctor Strange level weirdness with it, it might not work. And and that and that's fine. And but he'll work better in the group, I think. Which is, sure. you know, I'll, I'll take I'll take a, a C plus show to enjoy seeing Iron Fist to get an A plus Defenders. All right, uh, I think they take that too. I mean, I don't think they're I don't think they're worried about that. Because no. they're getting their money for that, and they're they're okay with that. I, I think. I just think you know. I I think when this whole thing started, I thought I brought up. It's like at some point they might hit a wall, and I hope that's not what's happening because there's just too much potential with all this. This is far greater than I thought it was ever going to be. Well, um, they, what they could be doing is for Marvel hitting their first like misstep in this arena. Right, but even their missteps are not you know like to They're me. Not DC, Age of Ultron that. was their first misstep for me, and even that's highly watchable. Sure. So it if this is their not misstep, a misstep at all, oh come on, Age of Ultron has issues. Age you have of to Ultron. admit it has. It can issues. have some issues. That doesn't mean it was a misstep. It's, it's a me. misstep compared to what they were building, and that's what I'm saying about this. What if? If people feel this is a misstep, but really, in the scheme of things, you're not talking Batman v Superman level misstep. <laughs> well, that might be the least misstep if if what we hear is true. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bad Boys Three. Yeah, <laughs> Joe Carnahan has left Bad Boys Three. You know, didn't Will Smith give up uh, a character? Uh, he gave up some of uh, Independence Day for Bad Boys Three. No, like he gave he, up Independence Day for Suicide Squad. Oh, is that what it was? But there was something he gave up for Bad Boys Three, because he he was like, I am I am putting everything into this. Oh, it was. Uh, I know he gave up Dumbo, which might have been a good choice uh, Ooh, yeah. for this. But this is kind I of I don't know. Tim, Tim Burton, Ava Green, I, Dumbo sounding interesting. We'll see. Johnny Depp already left. We'll see. Um, but Joe Carnahan, I think he could make a really fun Bad Boys movie. He's leaving, and he's saying it's scheduling conflicts. Why is this thing going up like a lead balloon? It's just not quite connecting. And is the time passed? Does anybody care about a Bad Boys 3, really? And I really like the second one. I think second one was the strongest of the two movies. Uh, but I, when I heard there was a three, I wasn't like, oh, yes, let's go back. It That's 20 years ago. Yeah. And they're not going to play it like, oh, that was 20 years ago. They're going to play it like they're just right back in the story. And there's going to be some a couple of old man jokes. Like, I'm sure Martin Lawrence's character is probably retiring or something. And Is the bathroom you know, going to explode? Yeah, uh, I'm telling you, there's going to be some of that kind of stuff going on. It's either that or they're going to completely ignore it. And they're just going to be the exact characters they were then. And either one doesn't work for me. I don't care. I've never seen them. Scott, you are the new Edward. Holy cow. The, the, most, the most I know of them is from the references in that other cop movie where they were both going on about bad boys. Right or, on. Another cop movie. The Hot Fuzz? 
Pause. <laughs> was that it? That's what they, they talk about point bl- break the whole time. Yes. Yeah, well, they think about bad, bad boys, boys in that. When he stands like this. Bad boys there is a the movie time. they talk about bad boys. I can't remember what it is. So. Yeah, I, 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 know, I remember that there was one that they kept going on about how cool that was. But... Uh, well, Bad Boys Two is a cool movie. It's it's a fun one to watch, and there's a lot of cool stuff going on in it, but not enough for me to care about going back for number three at all. No, well, especially twenty years later. So, and, and like I said, Joe Carnahan, he, like, didn't he? He's the one that directed A Team, right? Wasn't that Joe Carnahan? I can't recall. I don't recall. I'm I'm positive it was. Now I'm going to have to look because you know me. When I'm positive, I'm probably wrong on this. Uh, A Team wasn't bad. I liked it. I liked it too. And I thought that if if that is who it is, Karna uh, Han uh, with a Q and a four in it. Got it. Uh, Joe Carnahan, IMDb. Oh, man. He directed The Gray. Did you guys see The Gray? With uh, Liam Neeson? Yeah, that was a yeah. sweet movie. The book uh, was fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, okay, so he didn't do what I was saying. Let's pretend that didn't happen. No, wait, wait. That was producer. Wait a he minute. He, made... he did. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, A-Team is great. Great movie. Narc was a great movie. He did movie. Smoke and Aces. Smoke That's and Aces was a lot movie. of fun. Uh, he's been directing Blacklist, uh, rumored to be directing X-Force, and a uh, they did announce uh, that he's doing a remake of The Raid, which is a little bit weird. Uh, they'll whitewash it. Um, but yeah. But I got to say, uh, I mean, A-Team, if he got the tone of the A-Team with the Bad Boys characters, we might have a lot of fun with it. But we're never going to know huh. because he left. And he says it's scheduling. I say it's it's not worth his time. He's not worth his time to figure out that scheduling. You know, they have to wait for Martin Lawrence. So <laughs> <laughs> He's too busy running down the street shooting a gun. Isn't yeah. that what he did? I don't know. He's waving knows. a gun running down the and- street. Like 10 years ago. Well, Yo, is that the last time you heard of him? That's it's like Forrest Gump. He's out there running around. He's been running from one side of the country to the other, waving a gun. Run, Martin. Because it happens. Actually, it's I, I still get thrown. I, I, I still get thrown out, thrown for a loop when we're walking through the mall and I see the Martin Lawrence galleries for art prints. <laughs> and <laughs> like, did he go off in a new thing or something? But no, yeah. Martin, I'm Martin selling was art great. now. <laughs> Martin was a great show. Oh boy, you better believe it. Shanae is running the gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy and whatever. They're, one of them's dead. Is Tommy dead? Tom, Tommy's dead. Tommy's, Tommy's dead. dead. All right, that's bad. I don't know who, who was the other one. There was the short one too. Billy Barty. Uh, Billy Barty was on there. He was great. Um, Donnie Yen. No, Donnie Yu. Is uh is it Donnie Yu or Donnie Yen? I can't remember his name. Uh, is uh doing uh Sleeping Dogs? There's another video game movie. A lot of potential. There's a good story there. Somebody's gonna get it right. They're they're circling the right properties once again. I don't know, but man, he's a good choice. <laughs> yeah, Donnie Yen. Yeah, he's a good choice. He's the one from uh, Rogue One, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and many was... other things, but yes, that. But yeah, that that's the current one. He was in Blade Two. He's an IP man. Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to be playing, I guess the lead in sleeping dogs, which I got his action figure right here. Do you? Mm. What do yeah. you have Donnie it's Yen, right? with your crappy internet? Well, well, I'm sorry. What, is that his rogue one figure? Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're giving it away. Yeah, one? yeah. Did you go to league of geeks.com and sign up yet? Scott? Uh, We're giving away that. an entire wave of rogue one black series <laughs> figures. I like Ooh. mine better. <laughs> What's yours? I didn't see I it. I got the pop a little higher. A little higher. Yeah, yeah a little higher. In front of my oh, face. Cool. <laughs> no, yeah, no, but keep, you, keep it in front of your face. We're still watching. Do you also have Blaze? No, I don't. I, I paid that for Paul Blaise. Newman movie. You got an action figure for me? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Is that Blades of Glory or Blaze of Glory? What? Right. I know you're a big fan of that Paul Newman movie. Um, yeah, Donnie, Donnie Yen. I think they've got the right guy. You know, I just, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I want somebody to get it right, and the formula all of a sudden to work, and off we go, just like what happened with the with the uh, superhero movies. Um, Ken Lung, do you guys know who that is? Who? Ken, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. I'll be back one second. Leung, Ken Lung, Lung. You know who that What's is? What's he been in? Uh, first of all, 
he's amazing on the show Lost. Uh, he was in Rush Hour. Um, he's playing Karnak in The Inhumans. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wasn't he in X-Men 3? Was he? I don't remember that. He was awesome. On, he was on, yeah, he was on X-Men The Last Stand. He was Kid Omega. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, spikes coming out of his face. Yes. I forgot about that. I was trying to avoid thinking about it. He was in Saw also. He was the partner in Saw. Uh, mm-hmm. He's been in a ton of stuff, but Lost is where he was. That's where we were like, yep, this guy is <laughs> awesome. He, he played uh, Miles Strom. I don't remember this last name. I saw it on IMDb, but he was Miles. He was the guy uh, with the uh, one of the scientists. Or he was with the scientists, the separate separate group that came later, uh, and you never knew if he was a good guy or a bad guy. I loved him on that show. I loved that show. So, <laughs> sorry. Oh, he was in Zero Hour. That was terrible. We watched that he, entire series. Did a he was in He was in Force Awakens. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember him in that too. But he's playing Karnak, and uh, they've got him listed in like every episode. So, nice. yeah. All right. Good, I'm good still point. telling you, I think I think I'm right about Inhumans. I think that they're because they're even doing uh, the the dog in this. They're not using these characters for an Inhumans movie. They are not going to. If they are indeed going to do an Inhumans movie, it is not going to be based on the royal family with these characters. Period. It's going to be either new Inhumans or it's going to be a completely different Inhuman story that they're going to use. When they finally decide we're never getting the X Men back, this is how we're going to do this. That's what I think. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think you can you can easily cross this uh, this group of actors into a into a feature. I don't think they do would that. ever do that. I just don't think they'd ever do it. I do too, but I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think that's the purpose of this. Why would you possibly launch it on TV and then three years later launch it as a movie? Why not wait? Well, you're they're launching it as a movie. Yeah, but not really. They put it on they're, TV. Showing, they're showing two hours in the at IMAX, but they're not. It's not really like an MCU movie coming out about Inhumans. They're still saying that's going to happen later. I'm telling you, it's not going to be the royal family. It's going to be something completely different. The young and hip ones, like the New Mutants, but it's going to be the new Inhumans. The in Inhumans. The Inhumans. Hello, <laughs> Newman. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. Hello, Captain. <laughs> that was terrible. Okay. It was bad. So, anyone have anything else? I do. Um, Since eight, we finally got a release date. Oh, yeah. Fifth, which, yeah. If you, I don't know if either of you, other two guys have watched it. It's, uh, I thought it was just wonderful. Did you watch the Christmas special? No. Is that any good? I haven't either. I haven't either. Martha and I decided to wait when the new season happens. We'll watch it just before that. Uh-huh. You know, and I, I hope it's good because I thought the first season was awesome. There was also a teaser about this this week. I don't know if you saw it, but they did not sign everybody on for a season three. So all the contracts ran out. Right. Which means basically well, no. dead in the water. They, they let it go, but now re- they've re-signed four of the main eight. Oh, so, have they? Okay. They have. What, what what it said earlier in the week was they somebody, one of the producers put out a picture of the whole cast now. And it was like, wait a minute. This is for season three. Like, are they working on making this happen? So that must be what it they is. Did. They signed, They said they signed four of them. You know, they replaced Amal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they replaced one of the guys because he got a, another gig. Yeah, um, and you know what? They could do that with any of these guys, right? Really, because it's got to be the pod of eight. If right. if if somebody leaves, they can write a have a way to write in more people. So, well, I'm, I, I'm fine with that. I, the way the way I understood it from the opening of the the series is once one starts dying, they can't add somebody, but they have to replace the character. They have to replace that person, so it can't be someone else joins them. It's the eight people link, and then that's all. Well, if 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 it falls apart. Uh, then just cast another eight and have these have the few that sure. you've signed come in as another pod, yeah. Because they, they so. did support. There were other ones that were supporting them. So, yeah, guys, if you haven't watched Sense Eight, it's not for the kids. A little seriously, okay. It's I'm, I'm, I'm already I'm already catching up on too many shows that that's gonna have to wait a while. I'm, sure. I'm watching Game of Thrones now, and I'm watching Black Mirror now, and I just that's oh, cool. isn't Black Mirror good? It's fabulous. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty good. Yeah, so I haven't watched it yet. I'm that's on the list. That's on the list. We just worked our way through Colony. Uh, we're almost done with uh, season two of that one. 
Uh, we're watching Shit's Creek, which is really <laughs> funny if you haven't seen it. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're working our way through some Gilmore Girls. Watching that, the new or the whole thing? If you really oh, thumbs up that, you're fired. I, I did, man. It's actually really good. Uh, we're in season seven, so as soon as the, we've got like I don't know twelve more episodes, and then we're gonna watch the Netflix one. I watched the Netflix one. Did you watch right. it? Yeah, trash. You know my what? Wife, you my wife series? loves Gilmore Girls, so you know what? I'm enjoying it. I have, I have, I have. We have all the seasons on DVD and. It's just burning a hole on my shelf. I want to get rid of it so badly. <laughs> because everything you have is such quality. I'm sure Jenny's like, oh, man, this is the worst thing on these shelves. Not true. Not true. It's really a good show. True. No, it's a good show. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Yeah. All right. Anyone else have anything? Uh, Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, what about it? Uh, just quick confirmation that it has been renewed for a fourth season. <laughs> Do you, yeah. now, do you guys watch it? Are you currently watching it? Love we're, it. We're trying to catch up. We're I think we're a couple episodes behind. See, I started trying to watch it, and then uh, <laughs> they only have a couple of episodes from the early seasons on On Demand. The Gilmore Girls got in the way? The Gilmore yeah, exactly. Girls got in the way. I had to have my Gilmore so coffee. Um, so I started watching season three, and I'm I'm almost caught up. It's Season three is just amazing. I heard there was some big thing that happened this week, though, that like changed the series. <coughs> Did you guys watch this? That was a couple of weeks ago. Didn't we talk about that? Oh, I thought there was something this week too. Was there? Oh no. Yeah, there's. They said it's something that like <laughs> totally affects canon, but it is canon. Like if you saw it, you were like, "Oh no, this is what's going on." So we talked about the whole Ben Kenobi coming back thing and and all that, but. No, I guess there was something weird that happened this week. The Hand of the Emperor thing that we talked about or not? I don't know. No? Okay. I don't know. Also, no, if I you think, guys... Yeah, I think we're actually a couple episodes behind. <laughs> All right. We'll have to revisit that after everybody's we'll, caught we'll up. talk uh, no further. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Ryan Murphy of American Horror Story and Glee fame has a new yes. miniseries on FX called Feud. It's between... Yes, you said, and Betty you Davis. said... I last night about that. I watched the first episode. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Number one, it's um I heard it, it, I heard they dropped some language. Yeah, they it, it's it's fantastic. Um Susan Sarandon plays Betty Davis and Jessica Lang plays Joan Crawford. Oh, and right there, you know it's, it's gonna be a good time. They're amazing. Um I didn't know much about them. I mean, I knew a little bit about Joan Crawford from yeah, you know, great. My reference is mommy dearest, but yeah. no, they, <laughs> All right. This this whatever they're doing it is about when they made um whatever it, happened to baby Jane. Whatever happened to baby Jane. Yeah, they had fights, they threw each other down the stairs. I mean oh, it's yeah. crazy. Kicking each other and stuff. Well, the first episode is they're basically just starting now and it's 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 gonna get nuts. Yeah. Do you know how many episodes it is? Eight or ten. It's it's not much, so all right, we're gonna totally do this one. Yeah, I um, think they, I think you said that like what they want to do with this is every season is a different feud. Oh, good. Are they going to have family How long feud with they Richard do Dawson? ours? <laughs> yes. They do the This Week in Geek feud. <laughs> because on the list one, a bit, but... one person will tune in to, to that. Well, two people. We've got well, two watchers right you, now. You can't count yourself because you're watching it. No. Hi, Sally. She's on here. Yes. I don't know who else is on here. It says two it's people. It, didn't, it said zero before. Will Edward so, be upset because he doesn't get as big a role as he wants? No, but we'll, he'll be on it, but then we'll halfway through change him to rated R Edward, and we won't make any reference to it. it it'll be like in those sitcoms when the, the kid gets older that you have, like in uh, Family Ties when Andy like went from like a baby to five years old. Yes. Sure. Well, I was thinking more like on Roseanne when yeah. Becky went away to college and the other <laughs> Becky just showed up the next time. Yes. Yeah. Do you remember the one where they had the Becky's change in the end? Yes. Well, that was yes. that was great. That was fantastic. Was didn't like, you? Like, didn't wasn't it DJ that saw it was like, weren't you just? And she just was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And walked yep. through. Yeah. Yeah. So good. We're gonna do that with you, Edwards. <laughs> that would be good. But if you guys, you know, I know in your uh, that's you know, we found time to to watch it. So as we speed watch through uh, uh, Walking Dead and all the other shows we watch, so. I'm I'm done with The Walking Dead. Why? Stop it. Come on. Uh, lost interest. He's the hater. I told you he's the hater in the group. It is, a little, it is a little nuts, but... It, I'm enjoying it. Killing. I'm enjoying it. 
It's better than last season. Last season was not the best to me, but that's okay. You know what? If you don't like that, but you like that type of show, start watching Outcast. Outcast is excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Really. I like Walking Dead. I'm in. So I'm in too. I'm in on both of them. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start going through all this Netflix stuff and all these other series. Okay, LL. I'm just saying, like, they're producing better quality shows. Okay. All right. I got no problem with that. You know, the problem is, is it's like lost. Once you get five or six or seven seasons in, you are all over the place. And it's just hard to keep it corralled. Because how many times can you walk through a field, get surrounded by zombies, have to kill all the zombies, somebody dies. I mean, there's there's some intrigue. I mean, there's some big intrigue and, um, you know, with the saviors and stuff that are going on in The Walking Dead and the scope of it where it was one bad guy, then it was like a town of bad guys. Then it was a few more bad guys. Now it's like, whole city of bad guys and i think it's pretty good yeah i so, agree and the, the i don't know i think the performances are great they have some really good unique characters this season so yep i dig it a little well, i'll, I'll, I'll binge it when the season's over oh sure hey did All you right. see the pictures of you and mcgregor from fargo that's the last thing i'm gonna say oh, oh. i can't wait i love the first two seasons so much and i i, I think you and mcgregor so great it's gonna just be like must watch must watch do they have like naked pictures of these guys where they get these great english actors to come over and do a season or something what do they have they got have something on them i mean they had martin freeman they got ewan mcgregor i mean it's not like ewan's not working right yeah he's got transpotting two coming out yeah yeah so no i think they just want to work with with like this showrunner and they want to do they read these scripts and see what great quality it is i think that's all it is and then how'd you see the american god stuff oh I, you know what? I can't even. That's one of those I've stopped looking because I cannot wait for it to start. It looks so good. We have three weeks or four weeks, three weeks, three weeks from tomorrow. Who has tomorrow. time to watch all this stuff? You know, a little priorities. Okay. <laughs> that's what exactly. I'll Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> priorities. You got time. You sit there on a plane. You're like, you know, well, I've adjusted four insurance claims today. Boom. I let's watch the I TV. Don't, I don't adjust claims, but thank you. you. You don't have time for Ian McShane? Come on. Right. Awesome. Orlando Jones in a pimp, like a pimp silk suit or snake suit. It looks fantastic. I don't, I don't get HBO, so. He gets it. He just doesn't get it. He's on Showtime. <laughs> I don't get Showtime. You're missing out. Ash versus Evil Dead. That's Shameless. on Stars. Shameless. Ash versus Evil Dead is on Stars. Shameless is on You buy Showtime. Stars? I don't watch Shameless. Shameless is great. Nah. It's a story yes, of Rob Southgate. Yeah. What do you mean, nah? <laughs> nah. But I don't think you watch the entire season, act like you. Did he, he watch the entire full seasons of Full House? So yeah, it's on ahead. Netflix, that's and that terrible. takes you uh, half a day, and I can watch it with my kids. I can't watch Shameless with my kids. <laughs> we found yeah. we found his bar. Yeah, found what he will not watch with the kids. <laughs> yeah, heaven forbid he watches Alien. So I right. won't. I won't watch anything that has sex in it with the kids. There's sex and drug use. That's that's a good call, actually. I, language, I, would, well, I, language, I would say shameless would be a it would be a no way then. Right. Yeah, language and violence. I don't mind because they understand the difference between real and fake because I've taught them. But like sex, I no. That's why they haven't so watched Deadpool. So do you use Marvel and DC as like real versus fake as the example <laughs> for your kids? I'm just wondering. <laughs> this is a real superhero. This is a fake superhero. Basically, yeah. Okay. They haven't even seen Batman v Superman. I refuse to let them watch it. I refuse to put right them through that. You're raising them right. Yeah, All right. Is, yeah. Is is that the horrific and deplorable violence is okay, but no naughty words? No, naughty words are fine because you know I, I don't I don't mind. He doesn't that. want them showing their bits. He doesn't yeah. want them yeah. seeing that. Which they're going to not be able to watch the next episode of This Week in Geek. <laughs> I don't know why everybody's gonna steal my naked shtick. That's that's my thing. It's gonna be well, a run. I'll be, on, I, I'll be run on butter at Jewel. You haven't done it yet. I I say we go. I rub more. butter. On, I rub butter on my face on a live podcast. <laughs> on here, I saw that. No, see, on, that's what I'm on saying. Our 150th episode of the League of Geeks. But I believe that the hot butter to Lil came up on this show originally before you revealed no, it. No, it, it didn't because it came up. That was when we talked about why we started podcasting is because that was hot butter to Lil was going to be the name of the podcast. <laughs> well, I know I that. Do. But I think that you said that on here before you revealed it on League of Geeks. 
if you go back when it happened, because I was listening to League of Geeks right after that, and, and Sean called you hot buttered, and Steve was like, that's from that Southgate Media Group stuff he does. <laughs> But it wasn't. It was actually, true. yeah, yeah. I think it. I think you said it on here. You revealed it here first. No, yeah. I do. Now it's just your persona. It's larger than life. It, it's who I am. <laughs> yeah, big and buttery. Bigger and buttery. Yeah. What are you yeah. do? I can't hey, believe we, it's not butter. Yeah. Who do we G G, G got this weekend that we were talking about? Are it? we giving so, G gods again? Last no. name. Want to throw one out? No, I can't remember. We were talking about it. I just was thinking about it. Oh, I don't remember. On our excursion to the city, yeah, to, uh, I don't remember. Well, I mean, it might it might have to be Lucius Malfoy now. I mean, if he's in Star Trek and he was in Harry he was, Potter, uh, Harry Potter, and he was in uh, um, uh, uh, sp- other space movies like a uh, event. Was he in Event Horizon? Was he in that? No, that was uh, Sam Neill. Sam Neill. Yeah, no, well, he was in uh, what space movie was he? Was he in an Alien movie? I swear to God, he was in outer space somewhere. I don't remember. He might have been. He was in that, uh, what was that Netflix show he was just on? The OA. The OA. That might count. He was yeah. really good in that, actually. Well, it's Star Trek, and he's got that, and then uh, he doesn't have a superhero movie, though. Give him time. No. There's only 700 of them in production right now. <laughs> true. True, true. Yeah, no kidding. He'll be in the MCU before you know it. All right. Okay. I'm ending it. I'm ending okay. it because we're, we're past time. Uh, let's get some social media. Horizon. Good call. A little you start since we already plugged your thing. Go ahead. We, we plugged what? Um, we plugged your thing. We told people to go to your website and sign up for the, uh, the giveaway. So go ahead. That's and, right. Sign, uh, sign up for a whole up. case. Sign up for a whole case. Six Star Wars Black Series uh, at the League of Geeks. That's geeks with a Z dot com. You can find me on Twitter at L-O-G-E-E-K-Z. And Scott? I'm on Twitter at at Scotty Smurf. Are the uh, headphones the Smurf Blue? Is that what you're going for there? Yeah. Yeah, you like them? I do. <laughs> and uh, and Chris, how about you? Yeah, I can be found at Blue Box Cafe or Blue Box Cafe 176 on social media and thebluboxcafe.com is our awesome. website. Awesome. And follow this show on Twitter at SMG underscore twig, T-W-I-G. Uh, find us on Facebook. Just look up This Week in Geek. And you can also follow the uh, main feed for our network at South Geek Media Group. Just look that up. Uh, on Twitter, it's at SMG Pod. But on everything else, just look up South Geek Media Group. That is it. Thank you for watching. We will be back next week. Enough said. Good night. So formal.